Okay, those pieces, um, the inspiration comes from, it's hard to explain it. I know my medium is, um, I use acrylic paint, and as you see, I've started to add wood to it, so it's kind of experimental to a degree. And it's also, um, it's a lot of, that I mix in with my work. What inspires me is the, uh, the black community, nature, I love colors, it's all about spirituality and us uplifting ourselves. So in my work, I want you to feel inspired and feel a sense of worth and just I wanted to lift your spirits up. That's a lot of what goes into my work. You know it's weird, the spirit just moved me and I don't know, something just hit me. I wanted something that vibrated liveliness. If I make my, I make my images dark, so I always need something to brighten that up. I use it dark because I use them, I make them black because I wanted to fall in love with the, um, with what the root to become from, which is we're black and that's what I want us to fall in love with. So I make them dark so you be clear that this, my, my work is for, uh, my work is about the community I come from. The colors I use is spiritual to be honest with you because I'm not a trained artist, so I'm self-taught. So red, this time with the red, like with some of the, with one of the paintings in particular, there's like drippings of paints. That's kind of like what we've been through here in our sojourn here in America, but we're still together out of all that. I try to bring hope back to the community too, as far as with the black love theme. So a lot of these that you're seeing are from my theme that I've been working on that started last year, which is uh, black love. And- Cause it kind of reminds me, I mean, it has, it's like a 60s thing. 60s or 70s, black power, black struggle. Afro. It could, it definitely could. And the Afro, I guess, is because that's what identify us. When you see Afro, you know you're black. I don't care where you're from, you could be in China. But when you see an Afro, you know that's got something to do with black people, African Americans, whatever you want to call yourself. But um, I guess that would be some of my influence as well, too. 